Hello, how is it going? It is Faker coming at you once again. Today, I want to share with you guys some of the best decks uh, players are using right now in Rune Terror to climb and boasting pretty good rune rates. Of course, the meta is not settled, so proceed with caution if you're kind of short on crafting, but I can still recommend some of these decks for you guys. They're probably not going to be the final list, but as of right now, they're lists that are finding good success. Some with new cards, some with just older cards. Regardless, if you want to climb, these are the decks I would recommend for you as of right now. Let's jump across. I just want to add um if you are new here consider subscribing i'm posting in-depth rune terror content for you guys so that you can grab all the information that you need for your rune terror experience thank you the first deck i would like to share with you guys today is going to be a variant of uh nightfall aggro by nick make plays who he managed to reach masters of the deck um i've also been finding a bit of success for myself with uh the nightfall aggro some of the different cards here is going to include the uh, lunari priestess just for some bit more nightfall a little bit more value and just the ability to kind of go a bit later into the game outside of that the deck pretty much runs pretty similar you do a bunch of really cool stuff with the nightmare mecha uh, nightfall mechanics this deck is super hyper aggressive the definition of a good aggro deck is this deck right here and it's a ton of fun to play the whole like comboing the nightfall stuff can be a lot of fun but i will say this deck is a lot more tricky to pilot than it may look at first so you know proceed with caution take a bit of time to get used to the deck but if you get used to it it is very strong um if you are short on champions you can probably play this deck with definitely three dianas diana really sets this deck up really nice plus diana's champion spell is really insane you could probably play this deck with two nocturnes if you want to trim down the nocturne um it could definitely run fine with that sometimes we don't even we don't even get to the nocturne Nocturne does complement this deck very well, but I would say Diana is more important if you want to play an archetype like this. Maybe trim out one Nocturne, consider putting in maybe an Lunari Priestess, which is reasonably cheap, or you can just put in like a Vile Feast or something like that if you like. Definitely a very solid list, good aggro deck for climbing ladder right now. Another cool deck is going to be another variant of Ezreal. This one is by Teal Red. The man, the, the man loves playing his uh, Ezreal decks. Now, I will say... That, you know, it's a different type of Ezreal deck, but whether or not it's going to prove to be the best Ezreal deck, time will definitely tell. But look, if you want to play something different, you want to play Ezreal in a new archetype, Targon Ezreal is a lot of fun, and you can do some pretty cool stuff with Mentor of the Stones, with the gems, and buffing Ezreal on field. I will say, the playstyle of this deck is a little bit different than the others. I think Ezreal is used for a lot more of a tempo tool, because you want to be buffing with Mentor of the Stones and kind of getting more ways of... Uh, leveling up Ezreal because it's a little bit hard. We're kind of forced into going heavily into the PNC removal, which some of it is not the most ideal, but you know, we've still got a lot of the strong uh, answers, but we just don't have like the make it rain value or like the karma for the ultimate late game. A couple of progress days to get through a deck faster. Hush is a three of. I think you can run this deck with two if you're short on, if you're short on um resources, you don't need three hush. You can go down to two hush. I think the rest of the cards you might already have if you don't have progress day, one progress day is fine. Uh, you can put like another gotcha in or something like that. Or just something else that's cheap. Deck's a lot of fun. I definitely suck like at piloting it. Maybe you'll be able to work it out better than I did. But it's a cool concept nonetheless. And it has been finding some pretty good success. Okay, so let's say you really are super short on crafting cards right now. There are still some very strong decks from the last meta that are just going to boast insane win rates still. Without a doubt, TF Swain was a very strong archetype. And not much has changed here. I think we're including cards like, uh, where are you? Where'd you go? Death Lotus because of kind of all the nonsense with the mentor and the trying to swing and buff this and that and a lot more cheaper units and Nightfall. So we're kind of taking in Death Lotus for that kind of matchup. Outside of that, this is very much the same deck. You kind of get the Swain down, you control the board early, you do your nonsense, and yeah, there's not really much to talk about. If you're not too familiar with this deck, I'm pretty sure there's a fair bit of... Uh, guides out there you can search up on youtube to get familiar with it very strong deck swain's still just an insane card and uh alongside the metal world gaming's twist of fate swain we may as well talk about their same scout deck not much has changed changed for this deck still just doing very powerful mid-range things misfortune is just really insane with some of the challenging units and yeah um, if you just want to slap down some mid-range decks, I think Scouts right now is a very powerful way to do it. Uh, the, the the value of challenging units is going up with all the kind of nonsense going on with uh, the whole supporting units and not allowing them to actually get the value from them. And yeah, just a bit of Bannerman mid-range is going to... You're going to climb the ladder. Mind you, Meta World Gaming hit Masters with a couple of these lists. So, you know, I can definitely recommend it there. But... 
avoiding some of the uh, old archetypes, let's go to another new one. This is going to be, I can never pronounce his name right, Saichu? Saichu? Leona and Lux deck, who's been slapping uh, ranked ladder with it right now. Um, the explanation of this deck is pretty similar to a lot of other Lux decks. You kind of just slap down your Lux, you play some powerful spells, you've got like the Radiant Guardian for the annoying nonsense throughout the early game. The inclusion of Bastion to protect that Lux or even Leona just provides a bit of nonsense and just really annoying against your opponent. Uh, running a judgment. I'm not sure why Saichu has this here. I'm guessing it's for some sort of nonsense against, against the wide boards. But yeah, no Aurelian Soul here, even though we are on Targon. It's just generally, you can do a lot of slapping with Leona early and control the board. And then throughout the game, just kind of do some really powerful mid rangey things and then close it out. I think this is a very good deck. Um, if you want to play some Lux right now, this will probably be one of the ways to do it. Uh, Solari Priestess is really insane too. Daybreak in general is just really insane. And it's really good mid-range tools. Um, playing down a Solari Shield Breaker on your opponent's attacking turn two against an aggro deck, you're just slapping down a 3-6. And it's just like, either attack or don't, you just don't, you just get an insane value trade. Daybreak cards are really insane. This is a very solid deck and one I could recommend for you guys too. Alright, so next up we have a couple of Leona Diner decks. I will talk about Alan ZQ's uh, version of Leona Diner first. This one uh, is mostly Allegiance in Targon, but dips into Free Old for the Fury of the North, as well as the Omen Hawk nonsense and Harsh Winds. Uh, basically, I don't know how to really explain this deck because I personally haven't seen him play it much, but he's been having a great time and he's win rate is actually really insane. I think he was like up towards the nearly 50 wins and like 20 losses or something. Really insane deck. I think it's probably runs very similar to what, how other Leona decks will kind of run. It's all about controlling the board. It's all about kind of using Leona as a win condition to kind of lock down the board through daybreak and then swing it to your opponent. Outside of that, you're just doing general value things like playing Mountain Scryer for invoking, for finding answers and flexible removal and star shaping for just being annoying and finding more invoke cards and also getting that healing, which can be used to heal your units too don't forget guys healing your units is kind of important and yeah you look to lock down the board do your really crazy annoying stuff early and eventually just kind of swing into them for a lot of damage or other nonsense through star shaping very solid list alan zq proving to be quite a potent player in Runeterra and a great deck builder and of course alongside that we have jonas af's uh version of leonardo diner which dips into uh, Shadow Wiles for the Unspeakable Horror. This one's a bit more all-in on the Nightfall stuff. You know, we have uh, obviously Unspeakable Horror. We have a bit more of the Lunari Priestess, and we're kind of looking to do very similar things in this list, but we haven't got as much top end. So this one probably feels like a little bit more aggro. We also have the Shade Stalker for kind of slapping our opponent with elusive units. I would say this is a slightly more aggressive variant of the two. So if you're kind of looking for more faster games and maybe you feel more comfortable with this kind of play style, I can recommend this one for you. He's also been boasting a really insane win rate. I think he told me he had gone about 30, 38 and seven roughly on day one or something really ridiculous. Very solid. And I think on the second day at the moment he was playing it, it was like seven and three. So yeah, he's doing pretty well with this list. Again, I haven't played much Leona Diana. There's probably, if you if you want to guys want to learn how to play some of that, maybe jump over in uh, Alan ZQ stream or even Jonas's stream if you get a chance. Kind of watch him play it, see how it feels. Um, definitely a solid list. I think the win rate kind of speaks for itself right now. And, you know, definitely a considerable option for climbing ladder. And why not finish off <laughs> sharing the decks with another old school deck. So we have Gangplank Sejuani, you know, the mid-range stuff. I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with it, right? It's still a very strong deck. Um, we do include some new cards here, Monkey Business. This is probably more of an experimentation. You could honestly still run this deck without the Monkey Business. But this one kind of goes a bit more all in on the Monkey stuff, the Burn stuff. Parley is probably a really good inclusion as a tech to Mentor of the Stones, which is a quite a powerful card in the meta. If undealt with, like if Mentor of the Stones simply gets one attack off, it feels really bad. It just generally hits some good units. So Parley is finding a bit more value right now. And it kind of goes along with the whole GP thing and leveling up Sejuani. This one's kind of all in. It just it just levels up so fast. By the time you play Gangplank or Sejuani on curve, you've probably already leveled them. And Sejuani flipped, we all know, just kind of locks down the board. And with this many ways to kind of keep the uh, plundering happening, they're just never going to be able to attack. And then eventually you just play some Riptide Rexes and end the game. By the way, this is Bruised by God's variant. Um, just... 
very powerful. I'm probably going to consider playing a list like this myself for climbing. But yeah, that should do it, guys. Now, if you have any questions, you know where to leave them. Leave them down in the comments, guys. You guys are awesome. I look forward to bringing out some more Runeterra content for you guys. As I said earlier, don't forget to subscribe if you are new here. It makes my day and keeps these videos rolling. See you soon.